isn't right. Hey, I've been away for a few days but back and it is Saturday and my tracking might be a bit wonky because I think my phone's gonna die. I didn't realize the phone's been dead for a few days. So we'll see if it can keep up with charging while it's doing its thing. Man, I hate iPhone so much. How can I see the percentage of the battery? Oh, there it is. Wait. Oh, no, it's gone. Oh, it's a nine. Okay, so it seems to be charging a little bit. Just have to see if it keeps on charging. Um, yeah, I don't use this phone for anything other than YouTube tracking. And um, it's already old and battery's a bit shit so we'll we'll see if it survives the last few times i streamed it stopped charging halfway through due to overheating but that was okay because we started at full and i didn't pay attention this time so whoops my fault um but yeah me and uh, me and the trout i'm double trouting it today gonna play a bit more dave which i don't understand why we're not done yet it was supposed to be a short game, I think. Unless I misunderstood. Dave the Diver, how long to beat? Oh, here it comes. 22 and a half for the main. Main and sides, 29. Completionist, 42. We are way past that. And I'm not super completionist. I just want to do all the side quests. Hmm, I don't know. Might not be doing it as speedily as I can. That's okay. Maybe, maybe we're actually close. I don't think we are because I think there's like two more areas. I think there's a, a fire area and I think there's another one as well. If we looked at the fish cards, so we'll see. But yeah, let's go. Let's go dive. Let's go. Let's go be Dave. Dave it up. Let's put me and the, the trouts in the little corner over here. Uh, and I haven't played this in a while. When last did I stream? Um, shit, I can't even remember. It was early this week. Okay, so. To do list. We need to explore that glacial area. Cool. Fine. Wanna catch a few um a leafy seahorses while we're there. That's okay. We can do that. Um 
Then there's an event soon. Ooh, have we? We've caught this fish for the day. This guy. We've already caught him, I think, today. Yeah, this is the afternoon dive, right? Yeah. So what we need to figure out is this event that's in a few days. The Marlin party. Like, where in the hell do I catch a Marlin? Um... This one. I'm assuming they aren't going to be on the shallows, and I think last time I checked here, and I mean that's a marlin, right? So I suspect they're just going to appear at some point. Do I need to catch them with like a special trap? I don't know. Um, we got a new suit. Oh shit, that we can upgrade again. Money's getting tight. It used to be every time we had like a sushi evening, we wake up the next day and we're rolling in the cash. Now, shit. It's gonna be a bit of a bit of a problem. Maybe I should take a few days and just fish and sushi. And not do the not do the main quest. And just make sure we're leveled up enough. Uh, maybe we should just not care. Let's dive in from this up and we'll see. Do we see a Marlin? Do we not see a Marlin? We only have three days. And it must be... It must be in the shallows. Blue hole shallows. There it is. And it's not night time. Unless it is night time. Shit, I forgot about this bullshit. I oh, seems fine. I don't understand the training. Yeah, it's not training. It's just playing with me. Oh, I'm supposed to turn the lights on and off at night, aren't I? I'm not actually interested in that, I don't give a shit. I'm assuming it'll tell me when it needs something or it's about to die. Hmm, yeah, no, I don't know. So in the medium depths... I mean, that looks like a Marlin as well, right? Shipwreck interior, it says. What is this one? This one just says shallows doesn't say anything this one doesn't say anything but the fact that this one says shipwreck interior should maybe just go there and go check it out and they've got the depths which is just this little fishy that I haven't caught yet and then glacial passage we've got all of them glacier zone we have not caught all of them That could be like a manatee. Probably. And then there's the hydrothermal vents. Which that looks like a shark with a little pizza cutter spinny wheel on his um, bottom jaw. Big crocodile. Um, whatever the hell that is. Give it a catch this guy. We just need to find this one. But yeah, let's let's see if we can find a, a marlin. I was wondering whether I should buy the the net. But I'm not gonna bother. What have we got equipped? Oh whew, that would have been shit if I forgot. Underwater rifle. Which reminds me. We want to upgrade this to death rifle or we need shitloads of topaz still. And then I want to upgrade one of these to a... Uh... Eh. Oh no, I wanted to upgrade... I wanted to see the steel net. 
Because I think maybe we can catch big fish with a steel net. Okay, but I don't have enough money. Interesting. So much I want to do. This game's a lot more rushed than it seemed in the beginning. I thought it was just going to be chill, just do what you want every day, but there's always something you have to do right now. Let's dive. I mean, I've killed one of these guys. Hello, it's you, my uncle. Hello, hello, Walrus. How's it going? Sorry, I was gone for a few days, but uh, the usual back. Now to deal with some stuff. Have I caught one of these guys? I hope it's going well. So you have trout wings. It's my, it's my shoulder trouts. You know, some people have an angel on the one shoulder and devil on the other one. When we're playing Dave, we have one trout and another trout. They're whispering fishy things. Let me shoot you. Oh, it is a new one. I've forgotten all about this game now, it's been so long. Oh, there's a Marlin! It was tiring as barely 11 Fridays, slept for 12 hours. 12 hours sleep is nice, not barely being alive is not great. But yeah, this was the shittest week in a very long time. This was fucked up. Lucky it's over. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. I was gonna say, do we think they're gonna get angry if I shoot them, but they're angry before? No, 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 no. Why is everyone so angry? What did Dave ever do to them? the fuck? This is how my week went. Just walking and chilling and suddenly murdered by a shark. Maybe just second shift we were working 3 to 11 p.m. for a month. 3 to 11? Oh wait, that is 8 hours. Okay, sorry, I just couldn't math for a bit. Damn. I'm assuming you're not too happy about that. But luckily you got your application in, right? So I'm hoping that that happens and that goes and moves forward. How do I... How do I... I feel like we used to be the apex predator. Now suddenly... Now suddenly we're not. because we're able to resolve some things that are available only during early business hours. Oh, that's cool. That's nice. So it's not too big of a deal for you. Shock harpoon don't like, but... Oh! Oh, we need to kill one of those fish, right? I am concerned about... um. 
Oh, there's oxygen. Okay, never mind. How did I get damaged there? And yeah, it's like it's it's only for a month, right? But yeah, a month is long. A month is long, but the time goes by so quickly. Yeah, I'm um I might be able to tune it for bit of extremes. Ah. That's okay, I'll just um <laughs> I'll just stream to my other um, viewer, which is usually me. No worries, man. Don't worry about that ever. It's the fonts if you want to have a look. Or I'll just make sure. More motivation to stream over a weekend, right? Yeah, I've changed my work schedule a little bit as well, so the like work contract admin shit I had to sort out this week. Also not very happy, but you know what, fine. We just have to hope we all win that lottery and then we don't have to worry about any of this shit. Uh, what am I trying to find? Oh yeah, that shipwreck. Could be another kind of mall in under there. You don't even buy lottery tickets? Ah, see, then you can't win. It also means you have more money than someone who does buy lottery tickets, but... Everyone needs... Everyone needs a dream. And at the moment, winning that lottery seems to be one of my more realistic retirement dreams <laughs> to broke <coughs> to broke for lottery yeah me as well but that doesn't stop me i just feel like it's a it's like two pounds a week or so that i spend on um on a dream ah, i don't have a net gonna try and net them. Sorry Hammerhead bro, but you have to get murdered as well. Yeah, that's the only dream I have. I feel at the moment I feel like lottery, winning that lottery is a more realistic dream than suddenly becoming a full-time streamer and i actually need to work out the odds on that but i think it is actually you quit smoking and invest in lottery tickets oh man smoking i don't understand how people afford smoking oh i don't know how much it costs in poland like seeing um like an australian person smoke i just think what in the hell how can you afford that because it's expensive over here, but over there it's insane. Isn't it like 50 Australian dollars or something for a... ...pack of cigarettes? I don't actually know how much it costs in the UK. I know it's expensive. I'm so happy I never started. Less than three pounds a pack? Oh, that's cheap. Maybe I should move to Poland and start smoking. Yeah, that's not bad. Damn. Anyway, I'm curious now. Um, UK cigarettes price. Oh, now I have to look at all these gross images of people having all sorts of diseases. So a pack of 20 seems to be like 11, 12 pounds. Uh, 
which stole less than a pound of cigarette. Damn. And sleep on your couch. I don't think my back will survive sleeping on people's couches. But if I start smoking, then my lungs will be fucked up enough, I think, that I probably wouldn't give a shit about my back. Okay, let's get away from this little crabs. Oh, I want to get that ammo. Can I get it without that crab crabbing me? Aha! Yeah, no, luckily. I think I'm okay with not smoking. I don't think adding a nicotine to my life is gonna help with anything. Okay, so we got a few Marlins actually. How many did we get? Three? Yeah, two of the one kind, one of the other. Oh, I don't need that. Uh, no, I've got those. Is that iron? It is. Oh, I forgot, I actually want to get all the metal so I can sell it. But yeah, with how much money I waste on stuff, I'm really happy I've never started any expensive um, vices like that. I don't drink a lot. I don't smoke. Don't do any any drug. But that's mostly just because it's illegal. If it was legal, I would give some a go. <laughs> Let's just see. So maybe it's a good thing. It's not. For my budget. But yeah, I need to... I need to cut down on a lot of things now. I'm not gonna have to go sleep on someone's sofa kind of thing, but I need to... I need to tone down my expenses. So maybe not buy a new game or two. Let's take out. No more gadget stuff for stream. Because yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm lowering my work hours for the next few months. Officially a bit of a demotion as well or health stuff so I felt guilty for not being able to do all the work I'm supposed to do but then I got fucked over by the company so now I regret doing the right thing let that be a lesson don't do the right thing I should just have gone to the doctor and said hey can you book me off for four months please and the doctor said only four you want five yeah sure cool But yeah, then later this year I definitely need to move. See if I can find a place that's a little bit bigger and cheaper. Poland, everything's cheap at least. I think smoke isn't that unformal, nice. I probably couldn't even go to Poland. What's the work visa situation like at the moment? I mean, I won't be able to get a job anywhere else because of issues, but... Um, I think even if I decided I wanted to, I don't think... Oh, let's go to... Let's go to the glacial zone. Yep. Ah, oh, shit. Man, that's one of the reasons I originally decided, let's go UK. So when I finally get citizenship, I can go to all these places. And then the UK decided, no. We want to be alone. I love seeing these new news articles. Of the old, old English people who voted yes for Brexit now being very sad that um, they can't stay in Spain and they have to get visas and they get rejected. Like, oh no, what about my cheap villa? Oh, I didn't think this was going to affect me. 
I only wanted to hurt people coming to the UK. It's like, ha ha. Get fucked. <laughs> but now it does, um... It does ruin future adventure plans that I had. Not like I do adventure in general, but um, if I wanted to, now I can't really. Thank you to come here, Chinese friend, that work visa needs to be renewed every now and then. Oh, okay, but so yeah, it, it has to be go through a specific employer, right? Because yeah, I was lucky when I originally came to the UK, I still qualified for... Um, the one was a call back then, tier one visa. Um, where you're not... You're not tied to a specific employer that has to sponsor you. Because I feel like that would be stressful. You just have to... I mean, you have loads of things you have to qualify for. Um, and then you just need... To get paid. <coughs> a certain amount. Sorry, hang on. Okay. Yeah, you just need to be paid a certain amount, um, not leave the country for too long, and not get arrested for anything. Okay, I probably should say that way. Not do any crime. I mean, if you don't get arrested, they're probably... Ah, oh, should I drop the rock on a tiny fish? Yeah, even that was stressful. Yeah, I had to quit my first job um, because they didn't pay me enough. I wouldn't qualify. I think I talked about this before. And they just didn't understand. Like, my options were leave the country or quit. And they're like, oh, can't you stay? Blah, blah, blah. We might be able to give you a raise in a year. And like, I can't qualify for my visa if I stay. But people overwhelmingly, I think, don't understand how um, working visas work. Not a specific employer, most companies support visa renewal, it's mandatory for sometimes contracts are... Uh, yeah, because over here, I think, if you're, um, I think it was called tier 2, like, you're sponsored by a company. And then if you leave that job, you have to find another employer to sponsor you. You can't just leave and get whatever job you want. It just adds one extra difficult layer on top. But yeah, but the stuff that was originally um, on the list was um, education, age, you didn't get any point. There was like a point system. Didn't get any points if you were older than 30. Um, and then your salary. Uh, what else was there? And then you have to have a massive amount of money in your bank account for a few months, which I was lucky enough that I temporarily borrowed some money for my brother just to leave in my bank account for three, four months. Well, I could have gotten there as well, but it would take me some time to save. And at that point, um, we were in a rush to come over because if my girlfriend back then had another birthday, she would have been older than 30 and then she wouldn't qualify. But yeah, now, now I don't think I can actually go to another country. I think I'm too old. <laughs> I'm surprised that that just doesn't do damage to them. The tranquilizer harpoon. Screw people over 30 who needs them anyway, yeah. I think that's what they think. I, I sort of get it, right? Because the older you get, the more of a drain you are on um on the health system. And the less time you have to work and pay taxes before you retire. So I get it. I understand why they do it. But yeah, it's not, it's not fun. 
but of course other ways to get into countries like a friend of mine's um they brought their mother over um where she still has to do some kind of work it doesn't matter how much she earns she just needs to do a job and then they sponsor it an announcement nice Okay, let's go to the glacial zone and go murder some frozen fish. I was so happy that day that um, I no longer... There were two, two milestones. The first time you get through the normal visa process and you can apply for your indefinite leave to remain. Which then just basically means you can stay here for many, many, many years. Um, doesn't matter how much you earn, doesn't matter if you have a job all the time, you just need to be in the country for a certain amount of time, you're all good. But the only restriction then left to apply for citizenship was, um, are you a scummy human? Like, do you do crime? Have you ever gotten arrested for something? And I was super stressed for that one application because um, I went on a business trip for two weeks. And when I came back, in my mailbox, or through the, the post slot, there was an envelope that looked very serious. And I opened it up, and it was all red text about some court date I have to apply, or I have to be there for, because um, I misjudged the timing for paying the council tax. Um, I thought there was still two, three months before I had to pay again, and I didn't get the first... Um, warning letter it just got lost in the post and the second warning letter arrived a few days after i left the country and then a week after that they sent the okay here's your court date you have to go to court now for not paying your council tax and i thought oh fuck i am ruined this is gonna make it so i can't become a citizen and then i panically emailed everyone and said listen i'm gonna pay whatever just can i just pay this and the extra fine to just and like, yeah, 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 no. If you pay now and you pay this extra handling fee, then you don't have to go to court. I'm like, phew. I was really worried that was going to be a big deal, but luckily it's not. I was fine. Oh, this one's still tired. Like I would be tired too if I had all these leaves growing out of my body. And it's very sad that that's the closest thing to criminal behavior I've ever done in the UK forget to pay my council tax. In part of not many people below 25 join workforce, they usually get a degree before finding full-time jobs at 30 isn't all. Yeah, but I think um, the restrictions and stuff they put on us to qualify for the visa, it's not there for... Um, it's there to keep people out. It's It, it wasn't made... Or sensible immigration because be the UK people complain a lot about immigrants and blah 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 and they had to do something to keep people out and back then all still in the EU so I can't do anything about EU people coming in so um, they had to try and keep other people from coming in and South Africa also had the issue with passports not being secure enough and not giving a shit about it so it used to be, like, um, a lot of people, there used to be a visa that was a, a working holiday visa, where you get a two-year visa, you can work for a year of it. Um, so people, you just needed a degree. So we used to go study, and then come to the UK and work their asses off for a year, and then travel a little bit, and then go back to SA with a chunk of cash. Then they removed that. Um, then the best you could do was... Um, apply for the highly skilled visa which was basically the tier one i did you just needed the degree and then money and stuff like that and some salary requirements so you couldn't go directly after university you had to work for a bit but people could still do that and that still didn't lower the numbers probably low enough and they said okay you know what let's make it no longer it's a degree it now has to be a master's degree and a chunk of cash, and this, and the age, and whatever, and then in the end, it's like, okay, cool. 
And then even that wasn't good enough, and now it's basically just you need to be an exceptional person. And even ignoring um, a low self-esteem and stuff, I don't qualify for that level of exceptional person. Like if you're a sports person or a famous musician person, stuff like that. But how people get around is just all the finance people. You just work for a finance company in SA and they just transfer you to the UK. It's easy for them to get around it, but other people, yeah, it's a bit hard now. If you're still lucky, you can still get a company to sponsor you, stuff like that, but... Um, man, that's too stressful. Yeah, so now, now I'm stuck. I'm so joking, I don't dislike the UK that much. I still like the UK. It's cool. It's chill. A bit annoyed at UK politics stuff, but... I can't really do anything about that at the moment. Um, so... There was a... Was there a Marlin? In this zone as well. No. We just need to explore and catch some fishies. Last week it says number of foreign students potents past 100k, which is crazy. Damn. Is it cheap to study in Poland? I've never even been to Poland. Um. Oh. Another leafy sea dragon. Oh, this is what I want. I forgot. So I can upgrade my gun into like a death gun or something like that. I can't remember. Ooh, a door. Okay, let's take a picture. Cool. Oh, was this the quest? <laughs> this was the quest we had to do down here. I just never swam this way. It's free if you're below 25 and have high school diploma. Damn, that's nice. Ooh. Yeah, I think um, I mean, there's probably still shitloads of international students in the UK, but I don't know how people afford it. Like, even if you're a citizen, it's insanely expensive. I don't know how foreign students would afford it at all. But yeah, so at the moment there's only two countries in the entire world I can work in, I think, without a visa, and that's UK and... Uh, I mean, UK I can technically say four countries, right, even though I don't treat it like that. And South Africa, and I'm perfectly fine not being in South Africa at the moment. I can't add the extra stress to my life. And yeah, it's insane how everything's just so expensive. We'll just have to see next year what happens with election stuff. I'm pessimistic enough to not think it's going to make any difference. I just see all those people voting for the same people again, and then wondering why nothing's changing. Well, not changing for the better, just keep on going worse. Pretty cheap and problem with specialization. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've always... I'm not sure how I feel about completely everything free education of course that's the ideal right because education isn't just to learn something for a job for a lot of people it's just all just enrichment but if the company struggles a bit or the company the, the country doesn't have a lot of money for education then i think it's sort of okay to prioritize certain certain fields Give people more money for studying those if there's a shortage. But yeah, but obviously ideal, just... 
Oh, I want to pick that up. How is this so hot I can't go down but there's icicles right there? Is it magic heat? Is it magic icicles? I started Japanese country it cost me around 6k pounds to finish it. Damn. Yeah, I can't remember what it cost when I studied. But, yeah, that was in Rand, and so it's not anywhere close. And it was still... I mean, it was still expensive back then, but it wasn't... completely unaffordably expensive. Now I don't know. I have no idea. It's such... Embarrassment, actually, but I have no idea how much things cost in South Africa at the moment. I have zero idea. If... Like, I don't even know, like, how much does a bottle of Coke cost? Like, no idea. I would just convert it from pounds to rand and then guess that, but... It's probably going to be off. It's been so long since I've been there. Ice related stuff can be like, three times more expensive. Shit. Oh, was the 6k one cheap? Oh. Damn. Okay, that's gonna be an angry... ...thing then. That's so I'm gonna ignore him. We're just gonna go... ...this way. Oh, that gun's getting upgraded. Six k for three years. Oh, oh, that was the full three years. Oh. Okay, yeah, that's not that's not bad. I I missed the bet that it's the entire time. I can barely keep track of how much day-to-day -day things cost over here because it just changes so often. My rent went up by like 30% in the last few years and that is just so insane. So my more prestigious school in Warsaw. Ah, I've had Warsaw is really nice. Um, some, some people who went there on a holiday. I really enjoyed it. It was very beautiful. I turn on my fan. It's getting hot. Uh, oh, I need this. And how many of these do I need to find? I need 25 and I get 3 from a... A node? What do you call it? And I feel I always only see two of them, so that's gonna take me a while. It's decent. Oh, lots of greenery. Green is always nice. I don't live anywhere close to a nice park, so... Uh, I feel like I would go outside more. If there was a park I could go to and just chill for a bit. Well, that wasn't really... I thought that bounced up and down. What's this? Aquamarine. Aquamarine. I said that wrong the first time. But yeah, being next to a park and stuff must be really nice, but that's not anywhere close to... Um, like, on my list of priorities. Oh, I need to learn how to swim into a current, wasn't that? Yeah. Yeah, when I look for a place, it's number one, price. And then number two, space. No, no, no. Um, number one, price. Number two, safety. And number three, size. Because I'm overly paranoid about safety. But I feel if, if you grew up in a dangerous country, then I feel people go both 
different directions when they move to a safer one. Either they stop being paranoid at all because, oh, this place is so safe, or they keep being paranoid. And I'm one of the keep being paranoid ones. I always think I'm going to get stabbed at night. It's nice when there's tons of insects during summer. Oh, I should put that on my list of things. Insects. It sucks if you can't even open a window in the summer because there's too many mosquitoes and shit flying in. Oh, big shark. Let's kill him. Let's do some... Do some murder. Poor beagle shark. Okay. Poor beagle. I've never heard that word in my life. Yeah, at the moment I just want a nice big space. Um, for as little money as possible. And I say just as if that's not a like overly privileged thing to ask for and i'm just tired of tiny houses and things that's probably my biggest problem with the uk other than some people being shit is just houses are just so tiny and flats are just so tiny and expensive i miss having big Big places. You can install mosquito nets on the outside of the windows. Oh yeah. I'm very surprised that's not a thing we had growing up. Because if... I don't know, if I always looked at like American shows and movies and stuff, they always had these... Um... Nets. What do they call it? Screens. At the door or at the windows and stuff. And I always thought that looks so chill. Okay, Narwhal, you attack me first. He actually just looked in my direction and I stood my ground. Um, but yeah, I was surprised that we didn't grow up with that. Even with shitloads of insects everywhere. That was just never a thing. We went for the security gates and burglar bars to keep bigger bigger intruders out of the house and I I hate mosquitoes as much as they love me there was one year when I studied I temporarily moved into a house with um let's just go back to the boat oh let's go see people and I'll drop off our um our new horses um I moved into a house with a few people and I didn't really pay attention to the fact that the backyard was a, a jungle. Um, and the first night I slept in that one room, I think I killed 50 something mosquitoes before I just gave up and went to sleep. I just never stop. And I woke up and my one leg was just covered. There's more mosquito bites than not mosquito bites. And I swell up from mosquito bites a lot, so it looked looked like my leg was gonna fall off. Luckily it didn't. Which was nice. But I was concerned for for a for a few hours. It was so itchy I wanted to cut it off. Oh yeah, I hate mosquitoes so much. I'm lucky so far in the UK, I've never really had to deal with mosquitoes. Um, there's a few more around this area where I live now, probably because I'm closer to the river, but... Not that much. But I also don't open my window at night because the spiders climb in. Okay, we are registering another leafy sea dragon. Replaced whatever the shittest one is. Sorry, Jayakar Seahorse, you're getting replaced. And this one's replacing. Are they really in order of shittiness? I think they are. Um, in 
these ones. Who gives a shit? Oh, that one's actually well rested. Oh, they come, sorry. Ah, oh, but he's not gonna win the race against the Ruby Sea Dragon. No, Ruby Sea Dragon's gonna kick our ass, so even if I even if Oh. Whoa, this guy is well rested, 117. Oh, we could win this one. Cranius with a few years back, scientists created genetically modified mosquitoes that don't bite people and reduce them to general population. Okay, let's hope that works, right? It's also only the female mosquitoes that bite, right? So at least there's one species where um, I get a lot of female attention. Dude, look at the leafy dude. I've forgotten how this works. Okay, just stay in the green, don't go into the red. But oh man, yeah, I don't know what it is about me, but I've slept in rooms where the other person the zero mosquito bites and I wake up and I'm like 12. Oh yeah, we got some cash. Let's rest them a bit. It's a little bit sad probably because if you were a bat and you're like eating mosquitoes and now we eradicate mosquitoes, what the hell are you going to eat? But, man, mosquitoes. Mosquitoes kill too many people. Sort of indirectly, right? But, yeah, I don't... I've wondered how nice it would be to live somewhere where you've got like a nice water view and you're very close to like a lake or a river and then I just think damn in the summer that would be horrible okay I can't afford it oh I don't even want any of those but I can't afford it either okay let's go back to the boat I'm happy we got um Got some marlins. Don't have much problem with mosquitoes. Too much hair on arms and legs. Ah, oh. my hair doesn't seem to block anything. Yeah, I saw. Uh, I see so few mosquitoes yesterday. I saw one when I um, took my bins out. Yesterday morning, I saw, oh shit, there's a mosquito. Which just shows how, how rare they are for me at the moment. Maybe there's just something about my flat that keeps them out. Maybe I'm too stinky. Oh, Dr. Bacon. Hello. Oh, I called him, I want to show him the photo. Very old, yeah, sure, okay. What am I doing? Am I just... Am I just covering all the beds? I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay, that's not how it works. I probably need to cover every bit. Oh, I need to cover everything. I don't know why I only went on the... Um... Oh, it shows over there. Which bits have I done? Which bits haven't I done? I'm an idiot. I thought I have to just follow the, the bright bits and ignore the dark bits. Then I didn't look at the picture on the right that showed everywhere I've been. I don't understand these mini games. Where did they get the time for people to just create all these random little mini games? 
Maybe like they got students and said, hey, this is not cool at all. Final year project for you. Make this little mini game that does this. Here's the here's the framework. Detective, yeah. Seems some sort of spell, okay. Why didn't we just ask to see people in the f I don't understand. Why don't we just ask to see people in the first place? Right? They're still there. I'm assuming they can read. They've got a library, yeah. Why, why ask Dr. Bacon? I don't get it. I only got six topazes. Topazes? Topi? That doesn't sound right. Topees? No. Marlin meat? 30. Oh. Damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> Semen can't be trusted, huh? Uh, let's dispatch them for something else. Ooh. I'm considering just letting this little dude die. What does that mean? Clean? There's a little poop there. What's that skull? What's the skull? What's the skull? Are we cleaning? I don't think he wants to play. I think he wants to sleep, so... I don't know what that skull is. Is it just, hey, by the way, turn off the lights? Yeah, I also never had a Tamagotchi. But there's still an exclamation mark. What does that mean? We cleaned. Do we... He's snoozing so we can't feed him. Can't play. He's a naughty, so I'm not going to discipline him. Why is that warning light on? Waking him up and give him medicine. Can we even? I don't think we can. Can't do any of those. Maybe it's just he's unhappy because... Fine, let's just turn the light off. If it dies, it dies. See, this is why I'm not going to have any children, because that kind of attitude... Meh, if he dies, he dies, is not the kind of attitude you should have. Okay, we're doing well. This looks like it's... Yeah, they're all watered anyway. Fine. I don't know if we'll get something for that, but I've... Um, did not even give you any notifications. I mean, they give all the audio notifications if you're in the same house. They scream loud enough. Uh, why are we here? There's no reason to be here. But yeah, I'm also starting to... I want to care less about... Oh, shit. What do they want? Alex, the fish fryer. Okay. Can you challenge your Alex Cooper? Cooks us platinum rake chef from the United Kingdom. Oh, are we gonna make fish and chips? He doesn't look very English. I would have guessed, like, American. Right, the sea. Okay, yeah. Ah, oh, two days. The quests never end. Okay, that's 
look like a Street Fighter man. Fried sea bream black tiger shrimp all one day easily. What choice is deep sea fish? Oh. Okay. What does he want? Nice so many ingredients. Cookie cutter sharks. Cool, we've got that. Vampire squid. Got that. Binocular fish. I don't think we have that. Oh, what uh, we're just talking about vampire squids. But what was I saying? Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna start ignoring like the little details. Like, do we really need to win that little game? Do I need to do all the side things? Because I finally finished um, Jedi Survivor. It was yesterday or the day before, and I and I think I ruin games for myself by just spending way too much time on the little side collecting nonsense stuff and I do that up until I don't like the game anymore and then I rush to the end. So I think I'm probably just not going to care too much. But it's hard for me in an open world game like that to not care about picking up some random stuff. But yeah, but that game, I think I started off and I said it's actually quite good except for technical issues. And then it got very good. And then I think at the end, the game was a bit, eh, I didn't like, the boss fights weren't that great, I feel the character doesn't control that good, last boss fight was ass, um, and by that time I was tired of the game, so I actually just dropped the difficulty down, something else I complained about as well that I didn't like, mostly just that. But overall, still fine, still fine. But um, yeah, I wish I waited until later and bought it when it was even cheaper. Oh, I do have Paralyze. We've got all the shit we need. Nice. That's a great quest. I still don't know how to do this. Best taste. How do I get that best taste number higher than 150? What's next? Time for a new release. Um, I mean, things I really want to play, but I don't know. I'm probably going to wait a while to play them. Is Baldur's Gate 3? Um, I think I'll wait. Um, uh, Lords of the Fallen, because I actually liked the first one when I played it originally. Shit, what else was there? There's a few things coming out soon that I was keen on. Um, oh, Starfield will be on Game Pass, I'll play it. I don't think I would have bought it new if it came out because I don't really... I don't trust. I think it's going to be a disaster. Well, that might just be my pessimism speaking, but I feel like these days that's not pessimism, that's... I wouldn't say <laughs> optimism. Blasphemous 2, yeah, I didn't like the first one that much. Like, nothing specifically wrong with it that I didn't like, it just didn't... It just didn't connect with me. I don't know if it's the style, or if I was, just wasn't feeding the gameplay, or I didn't like the vibe. Just didn't really get into it. I'm scrolling through my wish list, trying to see what soon. There was something else. I can't remember. I mean, those are probably the big ones, right? I mean, Armored Core could be cool, but I never played an Armored Core game in my life, so I'm not. I have no hype for it. Cyberpunk DLC comes out. Ooh, Space Marine 2. I don't know when that comes out. I thought it was going to be this year. I really enjoyed the first one, so I think that could be cool. There's a lot of games that I'm at least a little bit interested in. Oh yeah, Atlas Fallen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's going to be 
it's more of a Darksiders kind of game, right? Which could be good because I love Darksiders before they changed in something different. So yeah, that could be good. Wait, what was on... What's on Game Pass soon? There's another game, I think. Uh, coming to Game Pass. Let's see. It's a Starfield. Oh, Lies of P. Which, eh, if it's on Game Pass, I'll give it a go. It looked interesting when people played the demo. But that's less than two weeks after Starfield, so it's going to be interesting. Yeah, I just don't really have hype. Immortals of Avium. Why does that sound familiar? It's just one of those one of those RPG game names, right? Where you think, oh man. Is that really? Oh, that's the one that looks like Forspoken. First person magic shooter. You yeah, haven't seen much of it, but eh. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. There's stuff to play, right? But I'm not. I don't think any company has really earned earned hype in the last. Oh, yeah, it's all that. I think they don't deserve it. They deserve some distrust and. Um, suspicion. So we'll see. Where the... Okay, I killed two sheep heads. I have two sheep head fish in my inventory that I killed today. Why is that only one out of two? Hmm. Oh no, I killed one but I harvested it twice. Okay, never mind. I apologize, game. I'm sorry. But where the hell are those little striped catfish? I don't understand what happened to them. At least you don't have to feel tempted to play Diablo 4. Yeah, I really want to play it, right? I love Diablo. I love that style of game. But I hate as a service games more and every time I read something about it I just think eh if it if it wasn't a hey you pay us to play our game that we run as if it was a free to play game then I probably would have given it a go right if it was like um, Path of Exile and it was free to just get into it I would have given it a go and just tried to just put some horse blinkers on my eyes and not pay attention to the things I dislike but I, it just feels like it's it's impossible to avoid I don't want to have to go look up what time of day does this fucked up boss appear so I can fight him okay why is this thing dying okay, maybe let's see if it's still alive the next day if it's dead then that's too bad at least we still have a cat, and a cat has cats, so... Okay. Um... Oh, it's not Marlin Day, we should not... Oh, wait, 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 wait. We can send our dudes out on a... Oh, I still have these guys, but I don't need to hire any more people. We also don't have the money, we don't have the money for training. What I can do is send people out for ingredients. Um, seasonings and stuff. We did end up getting a lot of salt and sesame. I probably just keep sending them out for that. At some point curry is probably going to be something we might want, but okay. Pepper, sesame, 
Nice, nice, maybe. Select dispatch. You can go and get more pepper. Bam. That's just such a weird menu. This is such a weird design. I go in, pick a person, say dispatch. Pick what you want them to go get. And then you pick a person again. So weird. Yeah, this menu is strange. Now we're still in this dispatch window. Do I then say get mayonnaise and then pick that guy? Strange menu. I feel like they couldn't decide whether they want to base the menu around the ingredient or the person. And they sort of mixed it together and now it's a little bit confusing. But once you know how it works, you're not going to get too confused again. And I get easily confused. Okay. What have we got? Um, this is always a good dish. Oh, should we do a... Oh, should we do a night... No, we're not doing a night fish. We are. We just... Yeah, let's just... Let's just do food. What second version two days ago and the best thing about it is that it's short. Yeah, I've heard it's not too great. I finally finished um, Mandalorian. Which I ended up really enjoying. I was like, okay, I'll fine, I'll watch that and I'll catch up on some other stuff and then I'll watch um, Secret Invasion. Just to see, because maybe I would like it. My tastes are strange sometimes. But I don't know. It doesn't sound. Doesn't sound too wonderful. I haven't really looked up anything about it. Just, uh, yeah. We'll have to see. Oh, this uses all my rice. Okay, I need to calm down on the rice. We don't have that many left. Let's do some of a typical shark. Shark sushi. But yeah, I think I should watch... Oh, I don't have to watch Secret Invasion. You need to watch that before Marvels, I think. Because, yeah, I think it, in a few days we have um, Guardians of the Galaxy 3 on Disney+. Plus. So at least there's something I'm looking I'm looking forward to. Could you see Samuel L. Jackson back? Was too political? Oh, interesting. Yeah, I'll have to see. All I know is people are a bit unhappy about the fact that it looks like it ruins some of their um, favorite characters or something. I don't know. Maybe it'll be fine. Uh, bam, it's a lot of food, but let's try it. I don't know, it's been a while since there's been a, something good. Like really good on the Marvel side, so we'll just have to see. But I'm okay with things just being okay. It's fine. Right? As long as... As long as I don't feel like they ruined the IP after I watched it. Like a certain other... Um, Disney-owned franchise after I watch one of those movies and I'm angry because I feel they ruined it. If it's just meh, I'm okay with it. Okay. Man, we need to level up again so we can get a... We can get a better or get in more employees. I need another person to help serve food.
Because we are too slow. We can't keep up with the kitchen. Wrong button. And this beer pouring thing is difficult as well. Every time I talk about how difficult it is, I get a perfect one. Come on, Dave, you can do it. Get fit. Clean, 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 clean. It's interesting that I'm the only person in this entire place that can grate wasabi. This person should be grateful for being the final person served by Dave. Can't expect them to make great genre finding movies. It's superheroes in tight suits finding weird villains. I mean, but it used to be... Mm. It is probably a... Some of the vibe about some... I still feel like the new Marvel stuff that's just sort of mediocre, right? I still think that's better than the superhero movies we used to get back in the day. Ignoring Nolan's Batmans. Because they were always not wonderful, right? And ignoring Blade, because Blade is the best thing ever. Um, but... I feel the first few Marvel movies, they weren't superhero movies, they were movies with superheroes in them. So it sort of felt like that, like the Winter Soldier was a spy movie with superheroes in them. Ant-Man, I don't really like Ant-Man that much, but Ant-Man was a heist movie with superheroes in them. And some of the others were just like um, action movie with superheroes in them, or thriller with superheroes in them. Where I feel some of the newer ones are just like, this movie is about the superhero doing superhero things, and we're gonna superhero and look at this new superhero. Ah, trying to inter trying to do their best to introduce like the next generation of people, which is always hard to do. But I don't feel they've done it that well. But I can't think of anything they should have done better because I'm not a I'm not a writer. What do I know? Old sp weird thing about Spider-Man's, right? I always liked the Spider-Man movies, but not as much as I liked other ones. There's just something about the Spider-Man movies that just doesn't connect with me, and I don't understand why. Okay, so we healed. Ah, okay, so he was sleeping, so he couldn't inject him. Clean away his, his poopy poop. Manage, okay, let's give food. Should we give a little snack? What does the snack do? But yeah, I think if people complain about how horrible and how shit some of these new Marvel movies is, um, they should go back and go watch. Or even, even the DC movies now. Like, if you complain about how shit Black Adam is, go back a decade or two and go watch Catwoman. The Halle Berry one, not the Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh, the Michelle Pfeiffer didn't have a Catwoman movie, did she? I can't remember, but yeah. And some of those shows were so shit. Or movies, sorry. But I think anything, anything that suddenly becomes popular and just keep on making them and keep on making them, keep on making them, you're never sort of hungry for a for a superhero movie because there's always just more. Just like these days, you're not hungry for some Star Wars stuff. There's always some more. And I think that does make people enjoy it less. Oh, nobody, nobody cooks that something new. Oh, that's a bit sad. Catwoman Electra Punisher 2. I've watched, like I've watched Catwoman I think three times now. I watched the first time and I thought what the fucking hell is this? And then a few months later I thought, 
I must have just been in the worst mood ever because there's no way, there's no way it's as bad as I remember. And then I watched it again and I got to the end and I think, what was this shit? It's even worse than I thought. And then a few years later I thought, you know what, that must have been a difficult time in my life. There's no way, there's no way it was that bad. Can't be, can't have been that bad. And then I watched it again and like, yep, it was that bad. And Electra, Electra's on that edge of, it was almost good. Which almost makes it worse than something that's just so horrible, it's irredeemable, there's nothing you can do to it to make it good. But I feel like Electra was just, it's just almost. And Punisher 2 was just meh. That first Punisher movie, that's probably not the first, um, the first modern one or whatever, the one with Thomas Jane. I love that movie. I know people didn't like it, but I thought it was amazing. It's one of my favorites. But that's just because I love um, revenge movies. It was just so good. Oh, what's the other really shit movie? Um, can't remember now. There's another one that's really horrible. I liked it. That's why I mentioned the second one. Oh, yeah. Second one had that... Um, Steven saw something dude in. Didn't he die recently? I was a bit sad. The guy that was in Rome. Ah, I can't remember what his name is. I can't remember the movie at all, which probably means it wasn't... It wasn't horrible and it wasn't... Good, it was probably just slightly below me. Good enough that I didn't regret watching it, but um, not good enough to remember. Oh, eggs, nice. Ah, shit, we lost some rice. Carrots, carrots. Okay, I'm gonna stop saying carrots. I didn't even look at how much money we made previous nights, and we have 9.8k, so we must have made quite a lot. Okay, so what should I plant? One, so three, four. So what's a nine? Um, should we do? Three wheats and some garlics. Something tells me at what at some point we're gonna need a lot of garlic. I should put another wheat right. But yeah, there's just so many. Oh, can I not count? Apparently, I can't count. Huh. There's just so many, um, like, superhero stuff and sci-fi stuff and whatever these days that there's always something else to watch. So if something's not wonderful, it's like, meh, just ignore it. As long as it doesn't ruin it. As long as it doesn't feel like it was written and directed by someone that hates the IP. Then I don't care. I'm also excited about the next Dune movie, but I don't know when that comes out. Oh damn, there's a lot of fish. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this pond. Yellow Tang, why do they breed so much? Like, what are they doing? I don't know what they're doing, but why are they doing it so often? Uh, let's sell these. Yeah, let's make this a big cash evening. 
and unlike any fantastic four movie second ghost driver is terrible and i'd love to see nick cage and mcu protector i love the first one that first nick cage daredevil was <laughs> but i like nick cage second one was okay um fantastic four movies yeah but that's that's all the ones that like that's how superhero movies used to be right i feel like that's a good example they're just meh they're not great it feels like it feels like the movies weren't made because anyone really likes the characters it's just and i feel like that was the difference between typical old superhero movies and the dc movies versus the like modern marvel movies i feel like the modern marvel movies like there's probably going to be people disagreeing with this a lot but um i feel like they were made someone really wanted to make the story and then you just got some actor that they thought would fit really well in the story and then they did the movie where a lot of the old stuff and the dc stuff now feels like they're just trying their best to get some big name actor and then they build everything around that and i don't think people really give as much of a shit about the actor as studios want to think it depends on the genre right uh why no one br no breeding in this tank oh it's very full did i not pay attention did i do this tank already i thought i only did one upgrade a little bit but yeah but back in the day with like before all the new marvel stuff right i didn't even know which superheroes were marvel and which ones were dc i, I had no idea like a lot of times that you know, Batman and Spider-Man isn't even the same universe kind of thing. I didn't really grow up with comics and things. I wish that had Kevin Smith direct an MCU movie. Yeah, I was surprised. Well, maybe... Maybe he doesn't want to work under that level of control. Which I get, right? I think there's a lot of directors who want to do their own thing. But then there's a lot of directors who do their own thing, which I feel should have had a bit more control. <laughs> oh, is that it? Because, yeah, not being able to tell the story exactly that you want to tell and all those things must be a little bit annoying. Wait, 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 wait. We forgot the most important thing of the day. Feed the kitties. Can we feed these kitties as well? <gasps> Cat's name is Mochi. Oh shit, my tuna's in the way. Wait, wait, I'm just gonna go invisible. Look at that. Cute. Mochi just gets the... Oh shit, we're running out of high quality cat food. Oh, they share, okay. Aww. Look at that. Can't feed Momo? Okay, that's enough. Huh. Oh yeah. Wait, is it a Saturday or Friday? Oh shit, it's Saturday. What happened to Friday? Hmm. I think he wanted to make a movie to resign from talks and they wouldn't let him go for R rating. Ah. 
Yeah, I'm hoping... I mean, it's been years since the first day of Devil, so if that didn't make a difference to them... Then nothing probably will. I just hope... It just feels like they keep on running into, like, issues and dead ends and stuff, but... When they do Blade again, I just hope that's good. And that needs to be not made aimed at children. Because the violence there is important. What did I want to make? Oh, I wanted to upgrade a net. Cross fingers for Deadpool 3. Yeah, I am... Um, I expected nothing of the second one, because the first one was so, so silly quirky. I thought if they just tried to do that again for the second one, it was going to be ass. But the second one was still good. But will they be able to do it for a third one? Is, um, is Wolverine going to be good? I think it'll be fine. I think so, but there's going to be a certain point where the, um, it's just going to get a bit stale and we're going to be a bit tiring of tired of just ryan reynolds being ryan, ryan reynolds even though i like ryan reynolds being ryan reynolds i can't even say ryan reynolds without stuttering it was fresh it was more structured yeah but i i i fully expected the second one to have been shit i was really happy when it wasn't Yeah, we'll see. Well, we're still a while off from the... I've started filming the third one, right? Okay, now, steel net. Pelicaneal skin, okay. Oh, shit, topaz. Increases the number of targets and capture as well as the rank. Doesn't make a lot of sense because this still says capture seven fish, capture seven fish, capture seven fish, seven fish. So how does this increase the number of targets if it stays seven? Maybe it's a big seven when the other one's a small seven. I'm just sort of hoping this net can capture anything. Like, for example, crabs. Unless this gun can capture crabs. Because this is large net. Yeah, medium net, seven fish. Large net, seven fish. But maybe this net is large so we can capture large crabs. Oh shit, I'm out of fragments and I had so many. But yeah, let's... <sighs> okay, let's save that up then. I could just go see if I can go capture stuff with this large net gun. Right, and then we just don't do the... We just don't do the main thing right now. I think that's okay. Because I need my gun. If we're going into the danger zone, we need it. Um, VIP visit, we have everything. And then Pelican. No, <laughs> Pelican. Um, What's the pointy? Oh, Marlin. It's not even with a P. P would was party. Okay. Uh, fuck it. Let's go dive with the net. And, ah, oh, should I spend everything? I don't think I want to do this just yet. I think I want to save up for upgraded harpoon. Unless I can sell something right now. We've only ever gotten one pearl, so I'm really happy I didn't sell it. Fifteen skulls. Let's sell a few. Let's sell eight. Uh, 
don't really have much to sell. Something I can do to get a lot of money, right? Is I can go to the restaurant. Ingredients. I'll sort by quantity and then I'll sell some of this shit. Do I really need almost 200 sea horses? I don't think so. Sell 50. Uh, sell a few shark meats. Sell a few of these. Just trying to make a little bit of money. Stingray meat. Uh, these guys. Shit, how much did I need? Oh. Oh, I didn't need 10. Why did I think I need 10? Okay, whoops. I didn't need to sell it. I'm a dumbass. Do I want the new harpoon? Yeah, fuck it. Let's go for the new harpoon gun. Super alloy harpoon gun. Oh yeah. Oh, that's maxed out. Okay. Fine. I wish making money was that easy in real life. I mean, this dude... We did show up at the sushi restaurant that already exists. Around this magic pool of fish. Probably makes things a little bit easier. Oh shit, now we're gonna get murdered by big sharks, but okay. Let's see what we can capture with a large net gun. We have no real goals. If we can find tiny catfish we can kill, we'll do that. Otherwise, um... Yeah, we can do whatever. Man, that voice is ruined. <clears throat> I haven't talked since the last time I streamed. <coughs> the only meetings I were in, I was just listening in for work, so, uh, whoops. I wonder if it's worse on my voice when I speak quietly or loudly. I'm not much of a loud talker anyway. I need any of that. I have so much of this. Oh yeah, we're gonna... We're on a crab hunt. I almost forgot. But yeah, Dave does work hard, right? He dives all day and then works in a sushi restaurant at night. But he does make a lot of money from it. Get captured. <laughs> okay, that doesn't work. Shock open, fine. Okay, but what we need is, um, we need some oxygen. Oh, there. Nice. Lucky.
Where the hell are those tiny little catfish? I don't get it. Why are they not anywhere where I want to capture them? Kill them? But yeah, it does look like Dave enjoys his job, so that would be nice. Just do something you enjoy and make money from it. The dream. Can we keep a lookout and I'll get... I don't need that. We're on a crab hunt. This is lead, right? That's just lead. Stay away. Looks like the developers are great. Dave also like their job. I wonder. It is very possible. These people were all forced to work. 90 hour weeks. And they hate every moment of it. When they get home and they have a nightmare. They just see Dave. Anything's possible. It doesn't feel that way. It feels like. At least at some point. Someone had some enjoyment out of it. But how do you know? How can you tell? Okay, let's see if we can capture a tiny crab. Wait, do I need to airlift them out with my... sub or... Um... Okay. Wait, what? Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, not this net. Okay. Uh, whoops. I don't understand. Isn't a net the most easy way to capture a crab? Maybe that steel net. Let's catch this shrimpy boy. Okay, so should we just, uh, I don't know, catch another marlin or two for the marlin evening? Fish, Dave, fish. What's up, pizza? How's it going? How's it, how's it? I hope you had a good week. I completely forgot what day it is. I have no idea. It's all blurred together. You just ate? Ah, oh, hopefully something good. That looks like a secret door. Should I just... Oh no, I need my gun. I don't want to do... Um... I don't want to do the main quest without my gun. If we have to fight the boss and uh, we have a net, that's gonna be a little bit of a problem for me. So yeah, we're just not gonna go that way. Just don't know what happened to that, those little fishies. I'm, I need to, I need to murder. There's a lot of everything down here. We can't even make a dent on the population, even though we have murdered a lot of fish. It would be cool if the game kept track. Oh, here he comes. Yeah, let's go capture a marlin or two and then um say that's good enough. I'm 
shit. Phew. I can't remember where they hang out. Ah, oh, but I do have a lot of them, don't I? Do I even need to worry? Oh shit, and they fight back. Uh, unless I can capture them in a net. I don't think I can. We can always try. I hope there's a tranquilizer. Oh shit. Guy. Let's capture a Nala or two. <laughs> I mean, we could do that as well. I don't even know what I said. As mentioned, it's been a it's been a long week. I was super surprised when I looked at the day earlier and I saw it was um Saturday. Ah, oh, sure, it was Friday. Okay, let's see. That did not work. I wish I had a tranquilizer. Ow, ow, ow. Stop hurting Dave. Silly fish. Oh, I said a Marlin or two. Okay, a uh, Marlin run. Okay, I uh, see how that. How mumbling can. Should I see if I can catch a. No, no, let's not worry about them. Okay, Marlin, get here. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh, I should have just stabbed him. My knife. Oh, shit. It's a powerful guy. Okay. Oh, what I did forget to check is I should have checked um, which recipes can we use them for. Okay, so... Now... I might actually just go up without um, having a full... Let's see if I can... Net these guys. No. Why the net's so shitty? I'm not fighting that guy. We have enough fish. Ah, oh, let's kill one of these guys at least. Nah, let's not give a shit. I'll make my mind up. Ah, oh, there's another Marlin. We might as well f fight him. Shit, there's two. And a sheephead fish, or whatever they're called. Ah, oh, shit, and a shark. Is everyone so angry? Oh, shit, and these little fishies that I complained about that I can't find. There's a lot to do. Why is this fish? Okay, if I was that ugly, I would have been that angry as well. Haha. -ha. 
So yes, I finished um, Jedi Survivor the other day and then I started playing... Um, why do I get damage when I carve that fish up? I wonder. Um, I started playing Uncharted. What's the... Is it Thief's End or something? Uncharted Collection, whatever's on PC. Started playing that, it's okay. I do find it funny that um, all the bad mercenary guys are all South African with like heavy Afrikaans accents even though some of them don't look <laughs> quite that Afrikaans. Popular bad guy accent. This is how the Russians felt ages ago when they are always the bad guy in the movies. At least when British people are the bad guy in the movie. They're like the suave, stylish bad guy. Okay, where's that swarm of little annoying asshole fishies? Actually want to get oh let's just do this I need to get 30 of them not even capturing them, we're just murdering. Ah, shit. Okay, no, I'm out. Uh... Okay, this was a good day. They're still counting up. How many did I get? 17. 18. 19. 20. Hmm, or should I swim and see if we can get more? What was I saying before they really attacked me? Oh yeah, all the bad guy mercenaries all have like a nice heavy Afrikaans accent. And it is hilarious. It's not even that good of an accent. fishies. Is there only one swarm of them per dive when they're there? Should I have left some so they can procreate? Oh! Yes! Stab, stab. Oh, I, don't, I can just pick them up. <laughs> I don't have to murder them all. How many did we get? I actually used the net in a good way. Maybe it wasn't completely useless. Come on, one more. One more. Yes, we got 30. Ooh. Okay, now we can leave. Day if you can do it. But yeah, the more I play Uncharted, the more I just wish it was classical Tomb Raider. I want more of the puzzle kind of stuff rather than stealth or fighting and shooting. I just want to Oh wow, this is the most fish we've caught in a day. 56, damn. Yeah, I miss all those old classic Tomb Raider puzzles because I played the the modern ones a while ago and none of them have as good puzzles as the old ones. 
What do we get? Oh, Marlin. Okay. Oh, man, why am I so hiccupy? Oh, this was the morning dive. Oh. There's some crops and our whiny, whiny pet needs attention. What happened? Did he grow up? I think he grew. Um, let's... Health. Clean up. Why is he so ugly? Don't tell him I said that, but why is he so ugly? Never really liked Uncharted. Yeah, I played one of them on um, on PlayStation a while back, which I thought was the same one I have on PC, but it's not. Um, and I stopped playing after a bit because it just didn't feel like it. And um, this one as well now. The more I play it, the more I wish it was just Tomb Raider. It's probably just a different kind of game, right? But I feel if I want to do a, a cover shooter, I would play a cover shooter, I would go reinstall Gears of War, all those games. If I want to do like a tomb raiding game, I would want to play Tomb Raider. So I don't know if I'm going to finish it. I slightly regret buying it. Because it's less good than I thought. Yes. Yeah, I don't really know. I need something else to play off stream. Uh, I also can't play it too long um, because it makes me a little, a little nauseous. It triggers my little, little seasick baby bits of my brain. Um, man, what are we even doing? We have so much marlin, we have 80. Is there any point in capturing more marlin? Marlin, selfish. Let's just go check. Oh, no. I have two more days. We might as well just go do the quest then. Um, did I go to the farm? Rice is ready, which is good because we've almost riced out. Yeah, my problem at the moment is all I actually want to play is um, a good Diablo-like game. That's it. That That's what I'm currently wanting to play. And um, Other than Diablo 4... I could just go and install Grim Dawn again, but I've played it so much. It's just a little bit probably tired of it. Could try and get back into Path of Exile, but I know it's just going to annoy the shit out of me after a week or two. And then I'm just waiting for um, Last Epoch to actually get released. Because last time I played it, it was okay. It wasn't that bad. But there was just a bunch of annoying issues and annoying bugs I kept on running into. So I decided, you know what, I'm just going to wait until release. Before I play it again. Gun. Bam. Ah, shit. I should have gone to the glacier area to go harvest topaz. That was dumb of me. Let's go. Let's not give a shit about anything else. I have my gun. We can just go do stuff. Because, yeah, I just want to run around with magic or weapons. Some generic fantasy action -y game. Level up my character and get better items. Repeat. And that's it. That's all I want at the moment. Uh, should I kill that narwhal? Let's kill the narwhal.
So there is a... Yeah, let's, let's ship him out. There is a chance that I might actually just get Baldur's Gate 3 when it comes out, but I need to... I need to look into how it actually is before I buy it. Like, how close is it to Divinity? If it's very close to Divinity, then um, I don't think I want to play it right now. Because I got a bit tired of it a while ago. But if it's different, then maybe. Oh, mayonnaise, nice. At least this is in the frozen area. Like if I had to use mayonnaise that I found under the water, the ones in the frozen zone, I feel would be acceptable. I mean, you probably still die, but um, you probably still die the same way. It's less risky. Squiddy he just wants to squirt some poison at us, which I don't really want right now. Ah, uh, sure, why not? And I'm also on the search for like a vampire survivor shit like game that I can really get into. I did play a lot of, um, where's that game? I really forgot the name. Oh no, wrong one. Uh, Steam. Oh, there it is. I played a lot of... Spirit Hunters Infinite Horde. And I actually enjoyed it a lot. So now I'm trying to find another one that has like a style I like. There's a lot of those games that have all these funky, unique styles, which for some reason I just, <sighs> just don't like that much. There's 20 minutes to dawn, which I'm trying to get into, but I'm not a big fan of the everything sort of this gray green, very pixelated. It just doesn't connect well with my brain and I've looked at a few others but a lot of them are just meh and that's just something fun to just play a quick 20-30 minute game while watching something just taking a quick break away from work just chill So aggressive. What did I do to him? Other than possibly murder his family. But how does he know? Were there any witnesses? Did they see me. Maybe it's just a safe assumption that they see something new and now suddenly... I don't know, their cousin's gone. It's like, how did that happen? Captured by the Dave monster. What's this? Uh, poison tap, fine. I'm just on the lookout for Topaz. <coughs> Man, I should start speaking to myself on non-stream days. Because after I haven't streamed for a few days and I stream again, my voice just can't keep up. Which is very surprising. I thought if you rested long enough, you would have a stronger voice. Oh no, <laughs> don't want to 
fight you right now. Leave me alone. I'm looking for topaz. Dave's not into the murder at the moment, he just wants to find shiny things. Oh, there's one. You net gun. I think that's the most we get in a dive. Well, that's what I said last time. We could be wrong. Oh, more curry. It's okay. Uh, oh, shall we? I haven't even caught fish. I thought we did catch something on the way down, but... Apparently not. Oh yeah, I just wanted to do the quest. And look for, um, Topaz. And eh, we might as well just... Oh, ah, oh, shit, I fucked up. Sticky bomb gun? I forgot, we have to go talk to the people in the village, but luckily that's okay. I almost forgot, I can just go back. I don't lose out on anything. <coughs> yeah, I'm just in that weird mood at the moment with gaming where there's nothing that I really want to play. And it's so annoying. Oh no, I have thousands of games but I don't want to play any of them. And there's thousands and thousands of other ones I can buy, but nah. Ooh. What's that? Oh, new seeds available. Is it because I've got enough of... Whatever that new one was. Black Coral, Southern Bull Kelp, Buck Bean. Should I buy? How many can I do? Six. Oh, they're expensive. Okay. I'm a little bit annoyed that you can't keep on making money from the sea horses. Even if it was just a little bit, that would have been nice. Because these quests don't refresh quickly enough for me to um, do more and more and more. I think they're actually just... are they just done? Are they never refreshing again? Maybe it depends on how far you are in the main quest before they refresh. I had just initially assumed it was um, unlimited. Oh, wait, we can sell things. Okay, I forgot. I forgot about that. Okay, we're okay then. Damn. So... I thought I bought two of each. Why do I have three of each? Can I really not count? I'm not very surprised, but I'm a little bit surprised. Like, I thought I could at least count to three. Huh. You still have. Why does he still have an exclamation mark next to his name? Eh. Let's go check out that library. Come on, Dave, you can do it. Oh, 
I should have gotten the taxi thing. Oh, is that too expensive? Okay. Ugh. Swam, oh no, I didn't even think Swam could read. My keen analytic abilities comes from the books I read of. I think he just reads picture books. I was located in front of the large glass door. Three large doors in the glacial area, okay. Inside this door is a switch. Cool. And now I've found the earthquakes are caused by the divine tree control room. Okay. Activate all the switches. Fine. I have materials referring to the door. Don't speak the language of sea people. Fine. Oh no. We have to bring this asshole with us. Can we just shoot him with our poon gun? I don't think anybody would blame us if he accidentally gets eaten by a shark. I don't think they would even mess him. I think they would be secretly pleased. That would probably wouldn't even be that much of a secret. That looked like he did the Macarena. I waste that from the dance. Yeah, you loser. He's just a coward. That's why he doesn't want to go in. Okay. We have a gun. We have one spare oxygen. We are ready. We are prepared. I hope there isn't any zombies again. That would be unfortunate. Okay. Okay, strange right hand comes along the way, okay. Try to not get murdered. Shit. Oh, that ah, oh, damn it. I almost thought I was gonna just make it and be awesome and cool. That was embarrassing. And I did say I wanted to play some games like puzzles like a Tomb Raider game, so this bit probably counts. So, what does this do? Okay, don't fall on me. And then these can rotate. Okay. Go get that. Okay, wait. Where do I need to drop that thing? Cool. I did that on purpose. Didn't know that I was just gonna break, but the rest was planned. Oh no. Anything else on this side? No. Anything up here? We need to be on the lookout for a, a shiny, expensive, very speedy seahorse. There are still some races we haven't beat. There's still some sea people who think they're better than we are. They just don't know any better. 
Oh, that's angry and all fishy. Ooh. How is he so strong? Arctic telescope fish, okay. Is that a poison? Torbernite. Is this some kind of radioactive thing that I just infected myself with? I should probably catch some little fish as well. Just in case. Guess there's something we haven't caught before. Like that guy, maybe. Nope. Oh, shit. Okay, we're going for the big guns. What? This dude's tougher than a shark. What the hell? Hmm. Let's just ignore him. I'll spare him. I'll spare his little fish life. Okay, so we need to pose him like this. Like the picture. Just doing real laughs, flexing. that is that a bit too much that's a little bit too much right Can't get to this control room anyway because it's a bit it's a bit hot. We're not built for the heat. Okay. Oh shit. Oh no. He looks angry. A good thing or a bad thing? Same thing happens to me when I wake up in the morning and my head sort of opens up and brain just shoots a laser everywhere. Okay, so where does this let us? Oh, it is safe. I was just wondering, am I going to melt myself? Oh, this is just where we began. Okay. Okay. Well, I wanted to make like a big dent in this game tonight, but I am tired. Emotionally. I don't know if I can stream very long. What do I need to do? Just go back? Okay. Should we at least catch something big? So it's sort of worth the effort, right? Shit. Uh... 
shoot, I'm shooting you, die. Phew. Oh, let's just do this. <sighs> Wanna take it easy? Yeah, but I need to not take it too easy. Oh, we haven't caught one of those, a three star one. If I take it too easy, then I'm gonna climb in bed. I'm not gonna get out for like three weeks. What are these? Oh, those are the ones I caught like thousands of when we started. How do I get out of here again? Is it up here? Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, I need to focus a bit more on streaming, I think. A bit lazy in the last while. But if I have a little bit more time now, maybe... Maybe I should. Where's that portal? Uh, oh, to the right. Yeah, we should do something different again. I need to think. What non-gaming thing. What I do want to do again is a repeat of ages ago when we tried to find that tardigrade. Tardigrade? Tardigrade? I can't remember how to pronounce it. And we found that dead one. We do need to redo that and see if we can find a live one. Sure, yeah, okay, fine. We activate one of the switches. This dude at least feels like he's starting to respect us as a person. He doesn't just see our stubby little legs when he looks at us. He thinks, oh, I appreciate you. So we're gonna mutate it, sure, blah, blah, blah. Still cold, but the heat coming from the ground is melting the ice, okay. Maybe the control room's overheating, sure. Two doors remaining, but isn't the problem... I thought the doors are just in the area that's too hot. Maybe I should just go down again. Oh. What's going on? That's all valid. How did she lose something? I think the beluga is missing. Oh no! Could have gone the other side of the glacial passage. Why do these dudes still think so badly of me? Well, they're typical bouncer mentality, I think. Apologies to any bouncers. I just want one of those weapons. Okay, so. Should we go the long way through and go like from this door? Let's see if we can find the beluga. Beluga. I think beluga is the name of the restaurant in Cape Town where I had like super snazzy sushi once. Ah, uh, no whale, no whale. Vampire Squiddy, don't care. Man, should I? Okay, fine, let's go explore. I don't know if he went all the way to the new region or whether he... He got lost. And he's somewhere in here. I'm assuming he isn't because he's not smart enough to push these switches. Maybe that's not true, but let's first go check. Well, let's just see first. What do they say in the log? Do they say glacial passage? Oh no, they're saying they hope he didn't wander all the way to the glacial area. Okay, so maybe he's not in the passage. Let's just check out. Oh, I need more of these guys. Yeah, get 
poisoned. I think I need some of his skin to make some kind of weapon. Which sounds horrifying if you say it out loud. Let's peek in the side region. We see a beluga. Do I need to redo this and get another statue? Oh, I'm too lazy. I didn't think that would respawn. I'm intrigued. Not. This is so silly. This is so silly, but so good. Just the sound and the nonsense of wiping the frost off the camera. That we forgot to do that. Oh wait, we can't go the long way, right? Didn't we? Isn't this where the giant thing was? Like the the zomber? The giant fish zombie? Huh. Let's just go to the frost zone and we'll see if we can find the little beluga there. Otherwise, this is going to be a very annoying search. Ooh. Swim, swim, swim. Um, there's a portal on this side as well, I think. So I use the whistle, it doesn't show up. Was that another beluga? Imagine that's the way to get him back, if you just use that whistle. And he just appears. That would be a little bit embarrassing for the rest of the people. Zero done. Oh. Oh, is he here to look? Clothes look warm, it is. You're weaker than you look. Did we tell? Oh, we, I, don't, I think we thought that. I don't think we said that to them. I don't think Dave says rude things like that out loud. I think when it's sort of greyish, the text, that's just what he thinks. Is that really an insult? What's more of an insult? You're weaker than you look? Or you're stronger than you look? I feel like you're weaker than you look is less of an insult. Because there's, you're telling someone they look strong. I uh, don't know. I'm exactly as weak as I look, so I don't think either one applies. I used to be stronger than I looked. Which isn't great. Because that means you look super weak. Where is that little beluga bastard? Stop hiding, let me find you. This looks suspicious. Is there anything I can drop on there? No. I was just thinking, now we're trying to find that beluga, so it feels like we're doing some kind of bounty hunting. And then I thought, oh, Dave, the bounty hunter. And then instantly I thought, 
Dave like the Mandalorian bounty hunter. That would be a cool game. Any game is just cooler if you make Dave the main character. Just imagine him with like a full on Mandalorian armor set that you upgrade. You just fly through the galaxy capturing people is basically what he's doing right now except instead of fish it's gonna be people. You can still have his little harpoon. But yeah I just have Mandalorian on my brain from I literally finished watching the last episode. The last night or was it lunchtime today I can't remember. But yeah I really enjoyed it. I wonder why like Mandalorian and um, uh, Book of Boba Fett, why they feel so different. It just, it just feels like um, Mandalorian is more about the world and the characters. So you're a bit more intrigued. It's just the opposite way around. Or Boba Fett. Maybe I just need to upgrade the suit to go down. Maybe it's the depth and it's not just the heat. Because this is almost the max depth we can go. So you're already in the orange. Wasn't fave se season but understand people hating it. Yeah I wonder as well. I don't know, I didn't read anything about it. So I don't know why people disliked it. Maybe it's just because it followed up from... If you didn't watch Mandalorian, you wouldn't get some of it, right? Maybe that put people off. They so angry. Oh, that wasn't even close to aimed correctly. But yeah, I didn't mind it. I mean, it's it's probably a few things that's probably not ideal, but overall, it was fine. It didn't feel like much happened. But I've started to realize... I think I like that. Where it's just sort of... Going through the world and... Like things happen but it doesn't feel like there's like conclusions or big events and stuff. I get the same feeling I get when I watch Dune. I'm just so intrigued by the world and stuff. That the character sort of doesn't really matter too much to me. I'm assuming people just didn't like it because um, Mando wasn't like the the top dog Mandalorian in this one. And I do find Grogu as a Mandalorian a bit comical and I'm very surprised none of the characters have like a big deal with it. Do we think he might have gone through here? I forgot what we're doing, we're hunting Beluga. Oh, we're not hunting, we are, we're on a rescue mission for a change. If I was a beluga, where would I be? Oh, this feels like it's going to be a... The fact that it sort of stopped and didn't instantly scroll with the character. No, maybe not. Hmm. But he did disappear right after we did this area. So if he did go missing somewhere, this makes the most sense. Ah, oh, those tiny little 
has fishes. Stay away from me. Is that the dead beluga? It's a huge sow bug. Bath and numbers, what? The scavenger of the deep sea. Okay, let's take a picture. Oh, that's not the beluga, is it? That looks like a... Take a picture of all three at once. I see three. Is that other one clear enough? Ah, oh, damn it. Come on, I need all three. there okay nice we did it we're gonna have a lot of pictures but yeah then I finished so I finished watching Mandalorian and I thought you know what um, let's go back and finish um, the last of us I've been watching on that Now TV app and then I realized what they do is if you haven't watched a show for a few weeks they just delete your history so now I can't remember where I last watched I have no watch history I think I remember which episode and skip through a few and then I decide you know what screw this I'd rather watch some anime instead I'm watching a cute little show about people you know in a manga rest, a manga shop. Which is okay. But yeah, I want to finish them, The Last of Us, and then I want to start watching... Um, Peacekeeper? Is it Peacekeeper? It's not Peacemaker. I think it's Peacekeeper. Because I feel that's good. Okay, so he's not in here. Because I feel like I haven't been watching enough actual live-action shows and movies and stuff lately. I've just been lazy and watching Twitch, YouTube and anime. And I think that's good for my brain. Peacemaker is really good. I think I said Peacemaker and then my brain heard Pacemaker. And I'm like, isn't that something different? But yeah, I need to give that a go. I've only heard good things. I'm not the huge... John Cena fan, but the smaker, oh no. Where would if you were a pink beluga, where would you hide? Oh, sticky bomb gun, level three, interesting. How much ammo does it have? Six. It's overall just worse. Slightly more range. Oh, but it's got an AoE. I'm assuming. Where the hell? Okay, so this is where we start. Right. Logan messing up and then wander all the way to the glacial area. The fact that these guys are here makes me think it has to be. It has to be here, right? Maybe it's gone through like the next zone we have to go through. Where was that? Um, where's that current we weren't able to go through? Is it down? It's just down. It's down to the right. This is another long dive. It 
It's just so much pink at the moment, it's hard to keep an eye out for one specific. Oh, there he is. Is he the snoozer or is having a really bad time? I think he's having a bad time. Ah, oh, shit, he got poisoned by that little asshole. Oh, shit. <laughs> Is he taunting me? Just too slow. Am I supposed to just chase him or am I supposed to stop and shoot occasionally? <laughs> Let's just chase. It does look like he's following a route. If he does go on to something I want to do for a long time. Oh, you did something you wanted to do. What was that? Oh, chase a poisonous octopus around. Gotcha now. We're gonna be nice, right? We're Dave. Dave would rescue. We haven't gotten a new um charm in a while. Bought 14 identical gray, <laughs> plain gray shirts. Nice. I'm also at the point where I, if I find a shirt that's really nice, that I feel like fits really well, I don't mind buying loads of the same one. In the cheapest store, ah. Uh, <laughs> I haven't been buying it. I haven't bought nice clothes in a very, very long time. I keep on telling me when I'm all fit, then I'll, then I'll do it. And then I go buy a 2XL pizzas. Two pounds each. Damn, yeah, okay, that can't be too comfortable. Let's feed him the antidote. Teach the dumbass whale to just stay where he's supposed to be. Aww, look how cute he is. Super good quality, oh, that's awesome. My problem is every single time I find like a type of shirt that just fits nicely, it's just comfortable, and I really like, they stop making it. And I can just never find it again. Same with food. I don't know why, every time I find something that I really like, it gets cancelled. And they do a new and improved, which just means they made it shitter. We're heading back, right? I'm assuming we're heading back. No brand or anything, yeah, but those are the bests. The bests, the best. I feel like if you're wearing brand and stuff, they should pay you. It's just an advertisement, right? I don't think that's an unpopular opinion. Oh, they just... Oh, they probably saw the thing swimming back. Uh, see people. Let me drink some water. <laughs> Let 
new better formula. Biggest lie. Yeah, that just means we found a way to make it cheaper. It's happened a few times where I've just been so angry where it's my favorite like easy meal. One of the shops used to have these frozen little um, Chinese meals. Just some noodles and I don't know, chicken and some veggies and stuff, but it was really good. And it was like £1.20 or something for a portion, which is quite cheap for a ready meal. And then uh, one day I got to the shop and it had a big sticker on it that said new and improved. And it's ass now. It's gross. Why would I want to talk to this guy? Manatee's baby just suddenly disappeared. Oh no! Oh, Maybe it saw the beluga and went to the glacial area. Why is everything now fleeing to the glacial area? Fine, let's go back. No, wrong portal. Whoops. This one. Almost clicked the wrong one. Ooh. Was this the morning dive or the afternoon dive? I can't even remember. Okay, so we are looking for a baby manatee. Hope it's not dead. That would be sad. Should we just go check out this left area? Oh, we can hear him? Yeah, he's got like sonar ears. Go Dave, go, you can do it. Whoosh, we on speed. Ah, now we have ice blocks to break through those things I wanted earlier and I said I wonder if it's a... Uh, yeah, that. Go away. Go away. That's a very aggressive little squid. Okay, but that, that wasn't my fault. He just swam into my knife. Thank God he's not a baby shark. Oh man. No, my brain. stuck in my brain and won't leave. Okay. Is this a trap? Will we lure it in? A dangerous sea monster or maybe even worse. What's that dude's name? I don't even know what it is. Sea Chad? with rock launcher. Ah, oh, this is so a boss fight. Oh, baby manatee. Oh, it's time to rub an animal again. Look at his little tail. Oh, his head. Should we be rubbing that area that's pink? Yeah, this is very cute. Why is it so cute? 
But I wish I had a baby manatee now. <laughs> Look at his little flippers. No. <laughs> Baby shark, do do, do do. <laughs> Baby shark, do do, do do. Baby shark, do do, do do. Baby shark. I feel like that voice actually works for that. I saw it out of the corner of my eye. It takes too long for the DTS thing to actually start speaking. What now? Look how cute he is. Dude, I want a baby manatee. Just imagine how cuddly he is. Aww. Ah, oh, shit. It's a fucking narwhal. I don't even know what button I pressed there to dodge. Shit. Oh shit, I don't have ammo. Good job, Dave. Manatee restored. <laughs> uh, it's funny. I read that in like big red Dark Souls text in my brain. My brain's supposed to have subtitles? I don't even know. Oh, now I'm picturing Dark Souls, but you're a manatee. <laughs> and it's like underwater. Oh, come on. What's up with these silly little baby animals? Stab, 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 stab. Luckily, it does give me some food to take back. Brain only has voiceover. Ah, hmm. Sometimes my brain has subtitles, I think. Okay, this better be fine now. If there's another big monster who's gonna attack me, I'm gonna be... ...upset. Aww. Farmer's gonna like us as well, I think. We're making friends everywhere. Come on, Dave, speed. You can do it. Ooh, ooh. Hmm. movie. I feel like I'm in the mood for that. Took a refreshing shower, went out for a stroll, and now it's time for a nice glass of cold beer. Ooh. Nice. I don't even read bear anymore when you say bear. Where's the baby manatee now? I don't see him. I don't see the big one. Where's the baby? Okay, it's safe. You mean you have a very good sense of smell? Uh, okay. 
Nice. Three seaweed seeds. And my phone looking. Okay, now I need to find another door, right? Is that... Hmm. Join your beard a lot, like one centimeter long now. How long was it? Wish I could grow a nice beard. I've always been very jealous. My beard just gets more patchy the older I get. I thought it was supposed to be the opposite way. Okay, let's do one final swim through the zone and then if we don't find anything we'll just go back. I know there's the... Um, the only thing that even vaguely looks like a door that we saw was the bit with a strong current we can't go through. Round 8 the longest, the gosh, round 15. That's quite long. Yeah, I probably grew mine to like. Oh, I'm sort of measuring with my fingers now. I don't even know how long it could possibly have grown in like eight months, eight, nine months without shaving. And then yeah, I just looked, I just looked like I crawled out from under a bush. I looked that like I got sucked up into Jumanji and I escaped. Maybe we should... Oh no, there was no door where the manatee was. So yeah, I just um, usually keep her that room for two, three years. Damn. And as long as I've ever had it, was probably just not shaving for like a year and a half, probably. It just doesn't look good. It's too patchy. Now I just trim, very short. I don't like shaving. Oh no, the squid thinks we're chasing him, but we're not. Oh, this is where the whale was, okay. This is one of those where we should just go back. Is that, it? that almost looks like a secret. Yeah, this is gonna... Yeah, we can't go deeper. After have to oil and brush it twice a day and it looks nice. It depends on genetics, obviously, yeah. I unfortunately did not get the beard genetics from my dad's side. I'm assuming I got it from my mom's side of the family, which... Surprisingly... None of the men on that side of the family that's related to her had a beard. I'm assuming it's because it... They can't grow a nice one. Well, my dad always had a beard when I grew up. I was a bit disappointed when I didn't get that beard genetics. Oh, fine. I'll go there. I'm still hoping one day maybe you can just go in to the... Why is it chasing me? Leave me alone. I'll shoot you. Oh, he just wants to keep going. Fine. I'm gonna need you then. Oh shit. Like I want a one day a hairdresser to be like um like an in-game hairdresser. Where you just go and you pick a hairstyle and a beard style, it doesn't matter if it's longer or shorter. And you pay them and you pop your head in some kind of magical box and you leave and it's the way you want it. 
brother got nice face hair jeans but he shaves clean oh, man i almost get upset at people who have <laughs> nice beard jeans but don't have a beard or people who have nice hair jeans but then they just shave their hair super short like you asshole give it to me unfortunately it's not giveable i don't actually get upset i'm just kidding Okay, we don't have a lot of oxygen. I might just say this is it for our daily dive. We'll come back another day. Because it's possible that there isn't actually something else to find. We need uh, some kind of invention. Or I should have gone back to that one that had the, um, the current. Oh. Sure. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow, well, we got the picture of everything. Oh, nice. Cool. Money. I like money. Who went deeper than we've ever gone before? Some narwhal, some poor beagle, shark meat, gelatinous snailfish sounds disgusting. Would not want to eat one of those. Oh, oh yeah, photos. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yay, more money. Cool. Uh... Oh, he's just sleeping, so let's just turn the lights off. If we could just connect that to a timer, that would be good. Picture of everything, some, some fancy art piece. Was that the the name of the um, achievement? wasn't paying attention. Oh, or did I say we got a picture of everything? I can't remember. As mentioned, brain. My brain is like a gelatinous. Whatever fish. Feels it's just lying there. All slimy. Half dead. Probably smells a bit. Yeah, let's go make some money. I don't think we have anything today. No, tomorrow is the VIP visit. And days in this game goes by so slowly. Because the previous day was the day we caught that jellyfish with the wizard hat. And it feels like it's weeks away. But I think it's because you do the two daily dives and then the evening. Which we could do a nice little evening dive as well, but I think, I think we want the money. And the cash. Um, brain's like a big boiling pot of slime goals. What's with you and slime goals? Do I even want to ask? Do I even want to know? Let's train both our procurement people. No, let's do a big training session. It's a pity that his skills isn't really in procurement, but fine. And then we'll send him on a expedition. What do I want to find? Um, salt and sesame, probably. I feel like salt is something you need a lot of. Should we just send both out for some salt? Dispatch. You and you. Go. Okay. And 
And then I think I want to train the rest as well. I got a little bit panicky with the serving. I feel like the kitchen's doing well. Serving, I feel, is... Um, they're doing good as well. I don't think we've failed in the last few times. Um, but let's give them both a good, a good train. And we might give the one kitchen... We might give Maki a little bit of training as well. Oh, that's expensive training. That's fine. Corpsia introduced me to slime calls and ooze calls. What? I don't want to... What's the difference between a slime goal and a loose goal? So what do I want to know? Okay, the first question is, do I want to know what the difference is? And if the answer is yes, what is the difference? I suspect I don't really want to know. Okay, sailfish at least. That's gonna be good for. Or let's wait, let's wait until it's that day and then it'll mark every recipe. Okay, let's make some money. Part of me wants to research some more, but we don't have that much artisanal flame. They suddenly got very stingy with it. Maybe, maybe we just. Oh, that is marked. Did I not see the pink in the bottom left corner? I probably just didn't look. A lot of garlic. Okay. And that looks, sounds tasty. Fish, garlic, and miso. One's transparent and smooth. Second type is more like a dirt. Like Muck from Pokemon. Okay. Sure. If that's... That's what you like. Or am I to... Say anything about it? Research the rest of the dishes. Oh, this is only one. Oh, well, that's the boss dish. Okay, let's not waste. Okay, menu time. Nothing. No selfish or whatever. Um. Can we have some wheat? one of these. I can only make one. Ah, but fine, let's do it. And then this platter, I can make a bunch of. Let's make a full platter of these. Some veggie sushi. Don't have that many, but that's for a variety. Let's pop that in. Not these two. Oh, can I make two of these? Why? Oh, we don't even have bull kelp. Okay, but two of those is going to end up 12 portions, so that's actually fine. Fine. This one, yeah, we can do... This one... Yeah. It's cool that we're actually doing, like, fancy dishes. I mean, previously we just did... Shark sushi, so shark su su sushi. Why can't I say shark sushi? Is that a tongue twister? Got interested in a topic only because it's so absurd. Oh, okay, sure. Just don't want to judge. Actually, I wouldn't mind judging. I'm perfectly fine with judging other people's so preferences. That's a lot to upgrade. That's not. Let's do six Mega Mouth Sharks. Okay, that's a big amount of food, but I think we can do it. We could probably do it because the kitchen's upgraded. The waiters are upgraded. What is the acceptable word these days? 
Is it waiter or is it server? I feel like growing up and in the UK, I think people say waiter, but when I see like US people, I think they say service? Was that the wrong word? Server just sounds too much like a servant. I don't like that. Okay. Let's open up. Let's open up the restaurant and hope no slime girls arrive. And Walrus is going to get too excited. We still haven't found a Walrus. I don't think the game has Walruses. Yeah, I let... I let someone else pour the tea these days. I'm just not good enough. I should clean. I don't think anyone else can clean. I haven't seen anyone leave, so I think we're actually good. If I just do wasabi and clean and then occasionally like take a dish to someone. Like I'm going that way anyway, right? There's a lot of food left. Oh man. Did we overcook? Well, not that much. But I think this would be a perfect score. I don't think we missed out on anything. That took a weird long time to end. Oh yay, best day ever. 10k in one evening. I still don't understand how we get the... Like the tasty, tasty points or whatever they call it. Like the little smiley face thingies. I have to enter the cave with an... Oh, okay, fine. So that is that. Without flowing current, turn on. Anyway, to enter the cave. Current may be weaker today. Well, why would the current be weaker today? Wonderful Monday, sure. Oh yeah, the fish. Thousand, nice. Okay, let's do all the admin stuff, and then um, I think this is where I'm going to end it. We'll do the admin, we'll spend some money, and then I'm gonna... Ooh, a great egg. <clears throat> I'm going into a coma. We actually did... I didn't count, is that 5-6? I'm actually using a lot of wheat, I think. Or was that before I bought? Ah, oh, shit, wait. I didn't check. We don't have anything new, do we? No. When do we get the tomatoes? The tomatoes. Why don't we have any potatoes? The potato not go well with sushi. Run, Dave, run. We're very lucky we have a freshwater spring just there. I could if I was feeling very spendy. Upgrade that rice paddy. Because we almost ran out of rice, right? Oh, that's a lot of money. 
money. Yeah, okay. Don't do it. But I think we'll still have enough to upgrade something because we'll we should have loads of fishies to sell. this game ending? How is this game so long? I specifically got this because I thought it was going to be a short little, a short little undersea adventure. I'm very surprised that how long this game is. I thought it was going to be three streams maybe. I think this is like the 11th stream we've played this. <laughs> Which is insane. How is this so full already? Shit. I'm going to do it. This is a good income. Let's send him to the kitchen. You as well. Oh shit, that's not actually the fish I wanted to send to the kitchen. doing this every time. Or I feel like most people would be doing this, right? Oh, we're sending... Oh no, we're not selling the shark, we're sending it to the kitchen. Nice. Uh, barrel rise, that's sell two. Send to the kitchen. Isn't this the fish we need for that dish? Come on. I don't know what fish this is. And that's it. Phew. Oh, we're full. Shit. Uh, how much does that cost? 900. Uh, and that's... Oh, that's actually 950. Let's ignore it for now. Just imagine we didn't know. We've already, I think, spent too much. I thought we were going to make more. From selling fishies. Diver. Wait, how much? How many topazes do we have? 18. Oh, we're still not gonna get enough. If we get six every dive. Ugh. How's this thing going? Feed. Feed again. Let's play. Why does it matter to that thing whether I get this right or not? Cool, I still don't understand the training bar. Maybe it's if he does something naughty I can discipline him. But I feel like he's well behaved, he's not doing anything. 
Unless that's the problem. Just being a lazy little fish boy. Uh, we can probably sell this for a lot, but fine. Let's just complete this quest. Sure. And then I don't actually need to... I shouldn't sell the bull kelp. I should get more of it and um, save it up for dishes. But I'm going to forget. I hate getting all sweaty half an hour off the shower. Damn. What's it like at the moment over there? I haven't checked. I just checked our weather. I don't really pay attention anymore unless it's in the news but I feel it's probably still quite hot right all I've seen is just how everything's on fire um diver mm. do we need the suit I think the suit can wait Should just do it. Do I have anything to sell over here? I don't want to sell my last statue. This is expensive, but it doesn't say what the purpose is, so I'm going to keep it. Okay, let's just upgrade our suit. Why not? I could save all my money and then next time we'll upgrade the air tank. A cargo box. Meh, fuck it. Suit. It's not all my money, right? Wasn't bad lately, few rainy days. 20, okay. Sounds like it's about the same over here. But yeah, just... Everybody's just expecting those hot weather times to appear. I'm very paranoid, so every morning I wake up and I check the next week's weather. And it's still just cloudy and rain and low twenties. Which is ideal summer weather. As soon as the sun comes out it raises 30 damn. I think it's just so cool over here because it was so hot over there. Just probably have all that hot air coming from Europe and then it just probably hits the sea and then it goes. Cloudy mode. I don't know, I don't understand weather. Um, I think that's it. I would love to keep playing, but I am half dead. It's probably a good time to stomp if you're half dead. Okay. You had fun? That's good. I had fun as well, I should have streamed a few days ago, but my problem is I get so, um, if I'm not having a great time, and I'm in a horrible mood. You know, I'm not my usual positive, cheerful, happy self, <laughs> that never complains, you know, the usual. If I'm not like that, then I think, oh shit, if I stream now, it's not going to be fun for anyone. I don't want someone's first time if they show up in the stream. Just see this whiny, depressed dude, and then never show up again. Ooh. Yeah, good luck with this evening shift stuff. That's gonna be rough, but pack, pack some snacks, and it'll all be good. It's just a month, right? Oh, ow. I can always start streaming in the mornings, but I feel like that's a bit rough. I did wonder a while ago what is actually the best time to stream. Whiny depressed dude with trouts. Yeah, how can you be whiny and depressed when you've got two trouts? I was saying, yeah, I've been... I did wonder originally what's the best time to stream. And when I was working like full-time, full-time, of course, I have no choice other than... Um, after work up until I go to bed. Um, and I don't want to be streaming 3 o'clock in the morning. 
because I think that's going to bother the neighbors. But now I could technically do the mornings. But I feel the best time is probably like evening time over here. Because then you get UK people and Europe who have evening. And by that time the Americans have woken up. So you might catch a few of those as well, I think. It probably just doesn't matter, right? Peak, peak best time is probably when it's evening for the Americans. Um, but um, that's too that's too late for me. Maybe one day if I live somewhere else where I don't have to worry about being noisy at all. I just don't want to be the annoying neighbor. I just imagine what if like someone's bedroom is right behind this wall and they can hear every single word I say. And they hear me talking about trouts and murdering fish and how Dave is amazing and then just lie there getting angrier and angrier and angrier which is what I do when neighbors are annoying so for the moment I'll probably just stick with the usual very late afternoon into evening imagine having PewDiePie behind a wall yeah I wonder how um any of the people who, okay you have probably has his own big mansion but any of the people who live in Japan they're even more packed together, right? And how, how soundproof are Japanese flats? And especially when you listen to some streamers who like, who like screaming and being excited and loud. Which I could be, I could be in the little cabin in the middle of nowhere and it's 20 kilometers to the closest other person and I still wouldn't scream and be loud because I just don't. I can't remember when last in my life I ever screamed. Maybe when I was angry at my brother when I was really young and we screamed at each other. That's all I can think. I don't even know what I do sometimes. What if someone's in danger and I have to scream to save them? I'm gonna have to think, shit. Am I actually gonna scream? I don't even know if I can. I don't even know what that sounds like. Worst type is people have a soft voice, but they scream frequently. <laughs> How's that worse? Does it just not sound as good? I could probably just raise my volume of my normal speaking voice. Um, I think that would be better for my microphone quality. I think that's where my worst uh, microphone issues come from, is I... I speak just above like a whisper. Oh yeah, if you go super quiet to super loud, like in an instance, like, where do you... I mean, you can adjust your compressor, right? So it it boosts up and then just drops down rather quickly at the top. But that's still, that's still tough. I don't know enough about sound. I fiddled with some settings earlier when I started doing all of this and... I don't know, I think it mainly works. I look at the bars and when I speak, I try to get my voice in the yellow without spiking up too far in the red. And uh, that's about it. That's all I know about audio. Audio is just so much more difficult than video. Like if you have a camera, you can just look at it and okay, it's it's either good or it's not. And usually just adding more light fixes it. But audio is difficult. Probably why we can have such easy tiny cameras that just work great and cheap. And everything looks brilliant but microphones are a disaster. If you don't know what to do with it. It's odd. Because if you didn't know better you would have thought video must be way trickier. Because there's more data and colors and things where audio is just just audio damn okay on that deep philosophical note i'm gonna stop talking and stop making audio and uh i don't know maybe i'll watch dune again or something this way that's perfect room with good sound wave distribution yeah i don't have any kind of sound treatment but I don't think that's my problem. My flat is so full with random bits of crap everywhere that 
I don't really have the problem of big open walls that reflect sound. I'm only wondering if I make like a little booth. I did see someone, um, a Japanese streamer ages ago, that streams in like a little a little sound booth they built in their um, like living room. That closes completely and it's probably soundproof so they can scream as loud as they want. That's cool. But okay. It's reverb time. I'm gonna go. Thanks. Have a good rest of the week. Next time I'll have three trouts. <laughs>